Hello everybody, it's me, Glitchy Gameplays, and we're back in another episode of Valheim. Um, last episode, we just got done uh, getting some good old uh, gold and rubies and amber and amber pearls um, so we could buy ourselves a new chicken egg. Um, we're also trying to get some more feathers and arrows. Um, that way we can actually use our bow because I don't have any arrows. Uh, I mean, I do now, um, but I'm going to make some more better arrows soon uh, that will uh, like using like obsidian and whatnot um, mainly I need that stuff because we're gonna be trying to go against um, oh uh, tar um, we're gonna be going to collect tar not this episode but um, later um, I want to try and go get some tar later that way we can get some uh, some tiled roofing instead of the thatch roofing thatch roofing doesn't look that good. I mean, it can look good for certain builds, um, but the builds that I'm wanting to do, I really want to use uh, the tiled roofing. It just looks a lot better. Um, that's what we'll be doing probably in a later episode, probably next episode, honestly. Um, but this episode, we're going to be trying to uh, set up a somewhat of a defense around our base, kind of. Um, just because right now, having our stuff kind of spread out like this it, it's kind of scary and there's things spawning and it's it's not great it's not a good time um so i did do some research on uh things you can build to basically prevent spawning um mainly like workbenches um and like campfires bonfires stuff like that um the easiest one to use is a uh workbench um, it's not the cheapest one, but that is one that you can use. Um, now, using the workbench, basically, it also allows you to see a, that, that white ring right there. Yeah, that white ring that's around this, that's 20 meters from the workbench. It's a 20 meter radius. So, items, uh, like the workbench, um, they give a 20 meter radius around it, that basically prevents spawning, um, basically, and it, it prevents spawning and allows you to make an area, um, for, uh, for just your base, it's a little bit more protected. Now, the only thing that sucks, though, is with, if you have three of those items within, uh, 40 meters, um, it allows raids. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to have that in order to protect ourselves, um, a little bit, so gonna suck um so i i had some ideas so we're basically going to start placing these out actually i'm gonna have to okay so place one here it doesn't show me i'll place one here so basically what let me get to what i'm doing um basically what i'm trying to do right now is i'm trying to build an area to prevent spawns um that way we can then start um building a wall and defenses and keep things out of our little area um because right now things are going to continue to spawn in our area and it's not going to be great um but i need to try and make sure that we're getting it within these certain radius of the stuff and i can't build it in there it just outside I can perfect and then I don't need this to be too far uh, yeah I'm also trying to make sure it's this is it's not really necessary for like um, what are they called the gray dwarfs it's mainly for the uh, the trolls I don't want to keep having trolls in our base. I want them gone, and I don't want them anywhere near us because I don't want them destroying that, the farm, or this little spawner there. Because um, if they break through that spawner, um, they're gonna, if they break through that wall, those walls, they're gonna destroy the spawner, and then I can't have anything there. I have to repurpose that building, which is fine. I can repurpose it, but that gives rid of our free and infinite uh source of uh wood and stone where is it it's right over there okay so we need 
Not there. Hold on. I'm also trying to shoot as many of these deer as I can. Just getting uh, more deer leather because there's a bunch of stuff you can make out of deer leather. Um, and it's free food. It's meat. So why not? Okay, where did I put that one? Right there. There. Not there. Just getting somewhat of like a build radius around this. Ooh, blueberries. Collect these. Because um, once once we have these workbenches in place, we won't have trolls. We will have trolls, but they'll be right outside of our radius here. Um, so once we once we get these placed things won't spawn nearly as much and they won't spawn like next to our buildings here um especially having them this close because i'm not even putting them like 40 meters apart i'm putting them 20 meters apart so i am placing more than i probably should but i'm making sure that this place is absolutely covered as much as possible um now the other thing too is that I need to put a, the wall around on the outside of these workbenches. Um, is that going to be? Yeah. So yeah, I need to put the wall on the outside of these workbenches because the gray dwarfs and trolls and everything, they're going to want to go strictly for these workbenches. Um, there are things I can do, which I might do, honestly, to prevent them from going towards workbenches. Um, instead of using workbenches, you can also use, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, oh, geez, I'm blanking out on what they're called. Uh, campfires, oh my God, yeah, campfires. So you can put campfires um, in place of these. Only thing is, you then have to refuel them. Um, but I'm okay with that, because what we could do is we can have them placed up high or even down low and have something built over them and then every every once in a while i'll just go over refuel them and then leave um but campfires are the best ones bonfires they'll go after uh the standing torches they'll go after um because those you can use as well for these base building things um now i need to make sure oh not that this I have to, okay, so I'm in, okay, so I am within this radius, cool. So that, those two are both giving us a decent radius. And then, what about here? This next one, that should cover the ring around. So that's pretty good. And then we'll probably need one. I know I'm, I'm okay with placing these two. Kind of all over the place for now especially since the workbenches because then we can build wherever we want <laughs> like we don't need to place one again and again and again like they are now everywhere um oh i am out of wood that's why there we go a little bit more um, I'm trying to make sure these are all area. Well, I placed one there. So now I just need to place one like over here. Just like that. Well, I am worried because that deer still spawned. Maybe it was too far. I don't know. There we go. Something there. I don't know if this one will be within range, but... Placing one there. I'm going to collect these blueberries, too.
Now, this again, this also means that we're probably going to get more raids because, you know, we haven't seen one in a while. Uh, but now having all of these around, we're going to get more raids. Uh, place one here and it won't it won't affect the spawner too so that'll be fine um i think that might be it though i think we've placed all the ones we can in our little area so i'm going to uh we'll go to the farmhouse we'll go to bed at the farmhouse and then um all right, well, actually, let's let's go back. Yeah, let me let me drop off the uh, the the wood that I have, and then we're gonna go back to our island, grab the wood from there, um, and I'm gonna I'll take these with me. Yeah, I'll take those with me. I'll leave these here. Um, I'm gonna go grab more wood. I don't know what I'm thinking here. I'm just take the cart. This is so much easier. Take the cart. Going to get a bunch more wood. And then we're going to start building a wall. And then I'm going to start building a trench. Um, now, the other thing I could do, which honestly, actually, that might be a better plan. I'm going to build a trench. But instead of a wooden wall, I'm going to build the... Uh, the wall out of uh, dirt in the ground, um, like using terraforming. I think I showed you guys that before. Uh, I did. I did show you guys that before in, in our plains uh, area. Um, so I think I think I'm gonna do that. Is I'm gonna build a. Oh jeez. Oh oh jeez. There we go. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that. It's gonna take a lot of stone, um, but whatever we finish today, great. Um, then we can probably head off to, uh, the mountains and get a bunch more stone from there. Or, I don't know why I didn't think about this again, we can always go back to the Black Forest that we just were at, uh, where Yoglith was. And start taking the, uh, taking down the giant stone towers from there and getting the stone from those. Um, I can always build another cart bring it over there and collect everything. All right, so collecting all of the wood that we have into here, um, and then, like I said, I'm gonna bring it over. Jeez, I'm already running out of wood. <laughs> um, collecting all this wood. Uh, wait, I'm not gonna make the wood walls so why do I what am I doing I don't I don't know what I'm doing hold on let's let's go bring these back <laughs> I don't need the wood anymore I need the stone that is correct so we need to go grab the stone not the wood um we can put all this back in here so never mind we have plenty of wood um it's the stone that I'm gonna need to take with us um Place the stone in here. Yeah, that's definitely not going to be enough for all of this. Um, let's grab our hoe. That, there it is. Cool. I also brought two hammers with us, because just in case. Here are tools, too. This is going to be an amazing wall, though. Um... Because that, that was one of my main worries, too, was if we do the wooden wall, even if we do a trench, if we do the wooden wall, the trolls will still break through. Um, all they got to do is just throw um, one rock at our wall, and it'll, ex it'll just burst into little bits and pieces. Um, so building this stone wall, this dirt wall, basically... Um, we won't have that issue. They won't even be able to break through it. Um, the only place they'll be able to break through is the front gate, um, but I'm gonna make sure that that's pretty protected as well. Um, yeah. Oops. Didn't do that much damage actually, so we're good. 
Now, I think I'm going to start over here behind the uh, the farm. Um, the only thing is, too, is that trolls and whatnot, they'll be able to go around uh, to the coast and then come through. So that's something I'll have to worry about later. Okay, so I think we're going to start with the trench. Now, granted, the trench isn't going to be that great because... Well, I could make it better. Um, for now, it's it's going to have to have water. It's going to be a moat, basically. Um, which will still work, uh, especially with um, the Sirtling raids. Uh, so I'm not, not too worried about that, actually. It's mainly just the, uh, the trolls, I guess, that will be able to pretty much walk over this. Um, now, if I make it wide enough, they shouldn't be able to. And once this goes deeper into inland, we won't have too much of an issue. We'll still have the water, they were wrong, but... Yeah, I'm starting to hear you guys, hello. Jeez, oh, come on. Come on, get on out of here. Honestly, I kind of like having it being a moat, thinking about it now. Down, dig in. Jeez, come on. No swimming. No swimming. Not allowed. And then any trees that <laughs> fall down here, we're gonna have to break. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to reach you. Not unless I run or not, really. Can I? Thank you. There we go. Dang, we actually already went pretty far. I mean, there's still a lot to go, but we've already gotten a good chunk. So this might not take as long as I thought. Um, I think, well, the trench might not take as long as I thought. The The part that's going to take longer is going to be building that wall. I don't know. Was that... I think that was the uh, one of the workbenches. Uh-oh. Was it? Was it one of no? Yeah, no, it was it was one of the workbenches. Oh. I need to rebuild that. Uh where are you? You're right there. I think we can just place it right there. That should be good enough. Pretty sure. Get our axe or pickaxe back out. This is gonna be one interesting wall. Um, yeah, like, I'm going to have to tear down all of these. Alright, so yeah, I think this is this is where that the water starts to disappear and it's going to turn, start turning more into just ground. Because you can only, it's like you can only go like 16 hits down. After that, like you can't dig any further. Did I just, I just broke another one. Are you kidding me? Ugh. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Ow. Ow. Hurt. I need to... I can I can get up there. Okay, yeah. Oh, jeez. Almost didn't make it. Yeah. I definitely broke another one. Uh, let's get that back out. Let's break these. There we go. Oh no, don't don't fall in there, please. Thank you. <laughs> like I don't wanna 
have you stuck down there. Granted, I could break it, but. Go. Good thing is, too, is I'm pretty sure that spawner is um, gonna be pretty full by the time we're, we're done. It's gonna run into that one, too. Jeez. Okay. Um, oh, hello. More gray dwarfs. Come on. Maybe. No. Okay, well, get out of here. You two. Okay. Um, where is... Yes, we need this. I'm going to make a spot here. And that should be close enough. Yeah. That should be close enough. Cool. Hitting all three of them. That one we're going to have to move back. But we'll get there when we get there. Um, I do want to chop these trees down. They are going to just get in the way. I get that. Oh. There we go. Get rid of those. And then, oh, jeez, getting down there is going to be difficult. Can I... This, and then can I... Oh, we just missed it. Just missed it. That's awesome. Now, we're going to run into a tree here, but... Take that down as it floats down magically. Look at that. Right in front of us. Break this open. Don't fall on us, please. You're gonna fall on us. No! <gasps> ah, thank you, Workbench. Workbench is probably gonna break, though. I, I have a, a feeling. Ah, oh. Okay. We're good. We are all good. Awesome. Cool. Break this. And keep it going. Alright. We have now dug past our little spawner there right about here and I think we go like a uh, couple more hits and then we go this way right yeah I think that's a good good plan good plan um but let's go <gasps> dude I think the deer still spawn there that's actually that's amazing for us because if they do then this is a permanent hunting spot for deer and once we get a wall built around this place, they can't really escape. So they're just kind of stuck there. <laughs> so kind of good, kind of good. Um, so far, I haven't seen anything spawning on the inside where our base is going to be. Um, I've been seeing a lot of things walking towards like into our base area, but nothing that's been walking out um, except for the deer, of course, but if that's deer. Not too worried. I think it's I think it's working. I think it's going pretty good. Right, hold on. Side quest. Give it a fish. No. Aha! Got him. <laughs> Mine. Got troll fish. Uh, those give you like what three fish or is it the quality? I think it, I think it depends on the quality. Never mind then. Ooh, hey, we got a fish. Um. All right. Prepared my stuff. Let's go back and let's start. Um. Keep mining. See how far down we can get. I want to get. I want to see if I can get at least the trench done this episode. I I should be able to. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! I smell sulfur in the air. Um. Up up up. Oh jeez! I gotta get. I gotta get to my base. I have to get to my base. Um. Go 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 go. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Um, I don't have good food on me right now. Uh, um, this is the worst spot to get a raid. Oi! Don't break my stuff.
Okay, I think everything, yeah, everything, oh, I think it's working. Everything's spawning outside. There we go. I'm on fire! Oh, no! Yeah, they're having to go around. It worked. It's actually working. Ow, how did you get across, you butthole? Hey. There we go. I think we got this. We're doing okay. We need to fall down there and explode. Oh, I guess it, I guess I didn't even see it, but I guess it said it was fading. Cool. Awesome. Well, we're all, we're all good then. That scared me a second. You shouldn't be. There go. You shouldn't be here. <laughs> awesome. Hey, that wasn't bad. And like I said, once we have this trench that goes all the way around, we will never, ever have to worry about that stuff. Um, it is handy having water down here too for those guys specifically. Um, and then also, once we get uh, the campfires, they won't be going after the workbenches. They'll, they'll have to go in trying to get to me. Oh, come on. Really? Ah, had to get it down. Hey, you guys actually got to like watch one of the raids and one of the the cool ones um because i remember i remember facing that raid for the first time and i was over on the island and only one of them got across the bridge and it was the easiest thing ever <laughs> oh that was like one of the easiest raids i've ever had why is there a rock in the way no I get this rock out of the way, at least most of it. Oh, jeez. Oh, we made a small tunnel, I guess. Dig this out over us. There we go. Can I... Oh, I just collected it. Oh, I'm full. That's, that's why. Okay. Well, actually, get rid of that. There we go. I'd actually like to collect the stone. We're going to need that for this wall. Let's see how full this thing is. Oh! Yeah, it's, it is it is up there. There's some stone in here. That's fold. Fold? Fold. Fold. Fold of wood. Um, I'm trying to just empty my inventory out. There we go. Um, also, something I noticed too. We did dig on the other side of where the workbenches are. But that's okay. Um, that's shrinking our area just a little bit. Um, but I, I could care less. Um... Once we get this trench over to here, I'll cut through this path and then I'll just make a bridge that goes over. And again, this will be the other the other gate into our area. And then we'll just keep going all the way across um, out to the ocean or sea or whatever this would be. Um, but I'm going to go back to digging. All right, so we got a little bit further. That stone was really impeding on us a little bit. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode off here, kind of running a little late on time. Um, but we got a lot done as far as this trench. I mean, it wraps from there all the way over to here. 
Um, so it's quite nice. Uh, actually, very nice. So now that we've got this done, or not done, but now that we got all the way over to here, uh, we're going to end it off here, um, and we're going to continue building our defenses in the next video. Um, so again, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below, as well as hit that subscribe button, uh, especially if you're coming back, and especially if you enjoy this and you want it to continue, definitely subscribe. Um, it really helps. It really, really does. I know a lot of people don't think it does, but it does. Um, what the? Oh, did he walk all the way back? How did you not die? How? You little, you little, little scamp, you little weirdo. <laughs> all right. Well, like I said, end it off here, um, and I will catch you all in the next episode. <gasps> Bye-bye!